Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I am here today to explain almost everything about Python variables. So there are six major points that you must know about Python variables. So let's get started. The very first thing I am going to open, I am going to type Python and I am going to open the idle application to practice variables in Python. So you must be already aware that idle is the application provided from Python to practice, to develop and learn, right? So integrated development learning environment. Now on this, let's create a very new file and let's save this file. Let's maximize this and let's save this file on a, any given location. If you are using any other um, notepad, uh, for example, notepad, Jupyter or um, PyCharm, any other, any other, uh, you know, editor window that you are using, that's also fine because everything would remain the same. The concepts would remain the same. So let me quickly save it and give it a name, Python variables and click on save okay so once our file is ready you can see the dot py extension has been added now here we have to learn some six major points about variables so the very first thing you should understand when i am saying x is equal to three let's say now what happens this variable what are variables if i ask you what are variables so variables are nothing but they are containers right containers to store data values isn't it very simple so x becomes a container which is going to store the value 3 and remember this is the first major point that you should understand this is a container to store data value the second major point about variable these variables are created okay I am just writing it over here they are created at the time the values are assigned to it these are created at the time values are assigned to it so the moment it will it will get created at the time you are writing x is equal to 3 or x is equal to john anything you are writing at the same time the variables get created okay this is a very important point that you should know so there are two points we have understood one the variable is a container to store data values the second point the variables are created at the time we are assigning values to it okay and remember let's see that for example i'm typing x is equal to 3 and i'm going to say y is equals to i'm going to say john okay there are two things i have typed now let's say let's print this so i'm going to say print in the bracket i'm going to say x okay and the next thing i am going to do is print and I'm going to say Y. So, so there are two variables I want to print. Let's hit on F5. If you are very new, click on run and run module and it will ask you to save it. Hit on OK. And the moment you do it, it has printed two values here. The first one is 3 and the second one is John. Now you have a question, Rakesh, what if I want to print both the things at the same time? Correct? So let's do that comma y just by putting a y i can do that so to run it every time you can hit on f5 okay so let's do that f5 hit on okay and here you can see two things has been printed three and john now because we are concentrating on variables let's also understand what would happen let's say instead of x here i am saying x is equal to john so i have given 2x x is equal to 3 x is equal to john and i want to print x so tell me what is the value that will be printed is it going to print 3 or it's going to print john so the 3 so at this time when it is taking 3 this is the integer value and this time the x is taking a taking a different data type this is a string data type so remember we don't have to like any other programming we generally have to declare data type right remember generally in lot there are other programs wherein you have to declare a data type right but in python you don't necessarily 
you can declare there is a way but you don't have to necessarily declare it okay for example when i say x is equal to 3 this becomes an integer data type and when i'm saying x is equal to john it has become a string data type so when i'm typing print x what would be the output let's do a f5 the output will be john getting it because the last one this is the value it is going to store and this becomes john now the next thing that comes to our mind rakesh what will happen let's say let's say let, let's do this let's start with remember the variables are case sensitive okay very important point variables are case sensitive okay what what do i mean by case sensitive for example if i type a is equals to i am saying 10 now let's i'm going to say a is equals to let's say i'm going to type my name rakesh now if i print small a if i'm going to print small within the parenthesis i'm going to say small a right and if i'm going to print capital a what will happen tell me because variables are case sensitive a will be a different variable and capital small lowercase a is a different variable and capital or the uppercase a is a different variable so here i am going to see two different outputs so let's do f5 okay and here you can see the first one is saying 10 and the second one is saying rakesh so this is a very important point when you are using a variable whatever the way you have typed you need to maintain that you can't say you have written the variable a and you are trying to type uh, or use capital a that will not work they are case sensitive so remember that very very important point and you don't have to declare a variable i said right you don't have to declare a variable now the question comes rakesh what if right as i said you don't have to declare a variable not necessary to declare a variable now let's say if i'm saying x is equals to 3 so what is the meaning now if i say x is or let's say i'm going to take another variable y is equals to uh, let me say um button double quote let's say i'm going to say 3 so what this 3 and what this x will be tell me so for example i want to know the type okay so i'll say print and here i'm going to use the function called type and within the double quote i'm going to say x check this how i'm writing print type x okay the same thing let's repeat for the second one and i'm going to say print double parenthesis for the print and then i'm going to say type and for the type function again parenthesis and I'm, I'm going to say y simple now if you do a f5 if you execute this what will be the output see the first one is saying the x is a integer type now the second one is a string type okay it's automatically so that's why you don't have to declare it it will automatically understand it automatically understand okay because you have written in double code this must be a string so it is a string type because x is equal to 3 that is a integer type okay this one uh, this one you have understand now the next the fifth point so what are the things we have covered containers variables are containers the variables are created at the time you are assigning a value to it they are case sensitive if you are writing small a upper a there are two different variables they are not the same variable we have learned right then the next thing uh, we saw how you can see the type what kind of a data type it contains let's say now we are going to learn something about casting okay what is casting for example if i am saying x is equals to and i'm going to say string and i'm going to say string 3 because generally if i'm typing x is equal to 3 what happens that takes it as an integer until you put a double quote so if i want to say string 3 so this becomes a string type okay now let's say i'm going to say y is equals to int 3 what int in the bracket in the parenthesis i'm going to say 3 so what this y will become this become a integer type integer data type string data type and this is integer data type now let's say i'm going to say z or z is equal to i'm going to say float right and i'm going to say 3 
so this becomes the float data type so first one is a string data type the second one is the integer data type and the third one is the float data type and all of this you can just see just now i taught you how to write that print and then say type right then use double parenthesis and within that you'll have to say let's say i want to print let's say z you want to print float type okay like that you can experiment so let me do a f5 hit on okay so what happened let's see the output the class is float getting it so this is how we can so these are the five different points that we have covered now the sixth point is about tell me the single quote and the double quote okay the two things single quote and double quote so how to use the single quote and double quote so what would happen let's say i want to declare a variable let's say x is equals to i can write in double quote john right what will happen if i write x is equals to and i'm going to say in single quote i'm going to say rakesh let's give it a different variable so we can print it okay now if i print x print x hit enter and let's say i want to print y i will write y and hit enter so remember they are case sensitive you have to be very careful let me hit on f5 hit on ok so what will be the output john and rakesh have come so doesn't matter if you want to declare a string you can either go with double quote or you can go with single quote okay so let's recall what are the things because you know revising is very important what we have learned first point we have learned is variable is nothing is a container to store i'm not writing the entire sentences container to store the values that we have learned the second point that we have learned is it's created at the time value is assigned to it the moment you are assigning a value it understand what data type this one and you don't have to really declare a data type right so created the variable is created at the time the value is assigned to it the third very important point they are case sensitive we have learned right very important point and the fourth important point that we have learned you know they don't have to be declared not not necessary to declare i would say not necessary to declare how because just now we also saw when you are typing x is equal to 4 the x will become the x becomes a integer when i am saying x is equal to john john the x becomes a string data type so automatically it will understand what data type it is okay and the fifth point that we have understood about casting you know how we can do the casting so what we have done we have written x is equal to str and in the bracket we are providing some value let's say 3 becomes a string now right let's say i want to say y y is equal to int and i want to give it some value let's say 3 so this become a integer kind of a data type getting it so casting we have learned and the sixth point very important point is when you have to declare a string either you can use a single quote or double quotes doesn't matter okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 the six very important points that we have learned about variables in this video so thank you guys guys stay connected we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye